Yo, what is good people? It's Ocean here. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Today is a really, really busy day for me because tomorrow I'm actually flying to LA for a week. Right now my whole studio is a mess. I've got all my stuff out because I'm trying to pack. You already know what it is. Striped t-shirts for days. I'm going to LA tomorrow morning and I'm going to try and work with like artists, music producers, film some really cool content and I'm also going to try and vlog most of this trip. I'm not the best vlogger. I'm always forgetting my camera or some sort of equipment. I really want to try and vlog this one. It's going to be sick. I'm proper looking forward to it. But anyway, in today's video, I want to share with you my top five plugins that I use for effects. These plugins I use most of the time to like manipulate my samples, my melodies, just make it a bit more unique. If you've seen any of my videos before, then you've probably seen me use some of these plugins. But in this one, I want to show you exactly how these plugins work and why I like to use them so much. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Ocean Gang or Drown. All right, so before I can show you my top five plugins for effects, I'm gonna have to quickly make a melody. I wanna do this really, really quickly, so I'm just gonna choose like one of these random MIDI files from my cook-up kit. Let's just go with, let's go with this one. I'll drag that in. And raise the BPM to like, it seems like a fast melody. I'm gonna duplicate that piano, Command-D, and just put something underneath this. Let's repeat that over. Copy, paste, bum bum. And then we do like a little grace note here. And then I think I'm just going to command D this melody real quick and switch up the plugin. So instead of a piano, I'm going to add in something a bit more synthy so it sounds a bit more modern. All right, so that's what we've got all together for the melodies now. Just gonna turn, just adjust the volumes down for some of them. Just add in a touch of EQ. All right, so I've got my melodies finished nice and simple. The first plugin effect that I really like to use, I probably use this in like, I'd say at least 80% of my melodies, 80% of my beats. It's one called M Rhythmizer by Melder Production. And basically this plugin is very, very similar to Gross Beat in FL Studio. What this plugin can do is a beast. It can manipulate time, volume, and you can add your own filters on it. What I use it for the most though is for 50% speed in it, which kind of like half speeds your melody and time stretches it at the same time. So if I chose 50%, it's gonna slow it down 50%. But then we could also do some cool things like speed it up or even reverse it. And they also have like these time sequences here where it kind of like scratches and slows down and does all these weird things. I use this one a lot. Another alternative to M Rhythmizer, which kind of does something very similar, is Half Time by Cable Guys. I haven't got the full version, I've got the demo version, but it's also very reasonable. It's only 10 euros or 12 dollars. So what I can do is turn on this Half Time and it's basically going to slow it down. And it does that same effect where it does an M Rhythmizer. So this is a great alternative to M Rhythmizer if all you want to do is half speed your melody. But it is more limited. M Rhythmizer has a ton of other things. As I said, it's very similar to Gross Speed. It's basically the same thing, but at least we can have it in Logic Pro X. The second plugin that I use probably all the time, like every single beat I make, I'm probably using this plugin. I've seen a ton of other producers use it as well. This is like the plugin that's in trend right now because of the style of music that's most popular. And that is RC20. So basically this plugin is like a, a vinyl emulator. It makes your melody sound vintage and old. I got this on my piano sound and this is how it sounds with the RC20. And then without it, you can hear a big difference. So 
just makes it sound more, more retro. They've got a bunch of different presets in here as well. I really like this one, this VHS one. Perfect for like lo-fi as well when you want to get that vibe. And then you can just adjust the knobs, you can turn on the bass. Make it more wobbly and unstable. I mean, this is the best plugin for when you want to make like that vintage sound, that retro sound. It's really easy to do, but there is an alternative as well. There's a free alternative. I used to use this a lot before I got RC20 and this one is Ursatope Vinyl. It does basically the same thing, but just with less options. So you can turn up the warp depth. This is the one that I play with the most. So it kind of detunes it a bit and a bit, add a bit of wear usually. You can add some mechanical noise, which is like that vinyl background noise and then even adjust the ear. Isotope Vinyl is a great alternative to RC20. Personally, I prefer the RC20. It just has so much options and it's probably like one of my favorite plugins that I have. The third plugin that I really like, I got this one recently and I've been playing around with it and I think it's sick. I'd recommend it is ShaperBots. This one is also by Cable Guys, the ones that do halftime. It's kind of similar to M Rhythmizer in a way. It has like a bunch of different filters, bunch of different time effects that you can add. So I got this plugin on the keys. And one that I really like to use a lot is this one called Filter. I add this sweep in here. Gives it like a nice cool effect. But there's so much you can do in this plugin. These are like all the presets here. There's like 44 different ones. And they're like combinations of filters, pans, volume, width. Yeah, this one is quite similar to M Rhythmizer. It has like scratching effects on that as well. You can turn down the mix, how strong the effect is. But I've been playing around with this one for a while and I really like it. There's just so much in there that you're probably not gonna get tired. There's too much to choose from. The fourth effect plugin that I really like to use. This is the first plugin that I ever got and it's amazing. I'm not even gonna do too much talking. Let me just show you like how sick this plugin is. This one is called Effectrix by Sugarbytes. It's got loads of different effects here, reverse, stretch, your sample, the vinyl effect where it cuts out. All you have to do is literally just click like the block and drag. You can choose like how long you want it to last for. I really like adding like the reverse at the end of melodies. And again, you can just adjust the mix down here to make it louder or not, how, how prominent you want it in your, in your melody. And then the last effect plugin is Sound Shifter by Waves. And this one, basically all it does is change the pitch. So what I've done here, I've bounced out all my melodies into one audio file. So I can just go ahead and put the Sound Shifter on this one audio file, I don't have to add it to all the channel. And with Sound Shifter, you can just adjust the knob, up and down, change the pitch. We can make it sound slightly detuned and this is like my preferred way of changing the pitch you obviously don't have to get this plugin to change the pitch but for me it just sounds the best whenever I do it using stock plugins in Logic it just doesn't sound that good and it's just easy to do just adjust the knob and you're good to go and let's say you didn't want to use sound shifter to change your pitch you can just go to pitch shifter put the mix up 100% just the, the semitones right here or the synths or you can even just make sure you have your audio file selected and transpose it here but as I said I think sound shifter is it just sounds so much cleaner so that's what I prefer to use so yeah those are my top five plugins for effects these are the ones that I use like almost all the time for my melodies for my samples just to manipulate it and get something a bit more unique. Link is in the description if you want to go check them out. You don't have to buy these plugins. Some of them are a bit expensive, a bit pricey. There are like free versions or alternative versions that you can check out. 
but these are just my recommendations what I like to use. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other effect plugins that I should be checking out and using in my beats. I usually upload videos Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, but this week I'm probably not going to be able to be as consistent in uploading videos just because I'm going to be traveling and moving about and that. But I definitely want to vlog this trip and just make like some sick content for you guys. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. That is about it for this video. I'll see you in the future. Thank you.